Also, this noon, a new view of a deadly confrontation between a tow truck driver and the man whose car he was repossessing. 7 Samantha Sosa live in Fort Lauderdale with the surveillance video. Samantha. Ethan and this afternoon police are identifying that victim as 38 year old Clarence King, a father who lived on this block here, according to neighbors. Now new surveillance video are showing the moments he was shot. Newly obtained video shows the moment a tow truck driver opened fire in a Fort Lauderdale neighborhood, killing a 38 year old man. A few seconds later, the tow truck driver is heard yelling for police. Fort Lauderdale police releasing the 911 call the shooter made in that moment. I need, I need, I need ambulance right now. I need ambulance right now. This started when the tow truck driver was trying to repossess a car on Carolina Avenue Wednesday morning. Surveillance video shows the car being towed out of a driveway. The victim, Clarence King, sprints toward the car before police say a confrontation began, leading up to the gunshots. He looked up, started looking around, started seeing multiple people coming out. That's when he started jumping up and down saying, I think I just killed the man. Police arrived a few minutes later and taped off the neighborhood, taking the shooter into custody for questioning. Some neighbors went outside after hearing the shots fired. He had no weapon. He didn't even have on shoes. It looked like he just got out of bed. And say King's young daughter was just a few feet away. I saw a little bit of the blood. I didn't see him moving. So it, it, it don't get me wrong, it took me for a little loop because his daughter was actually just standing by the car by herself. So it, it, it hit me hard. Fort Lauderdale police haven't said whether an arrest has been made. They did say, however, that tow truck driver is cooperating with their investigation. In the meantime, they're asking anyone who saw this shooting happen to please reach out to them with any information you may have. For now, we are live in Fort Lauderdale. Samantha Sosa, 7 News.